Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Academy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a random word plist generator. Now, already in my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it random plist for the purpose of this tutorial. Now what this random word plist generator is, uh, we're going to have a plist of a or property list of a load of different words in an array and every time we press our button it's going to randomly pick a word from our plist or property list and display it within the label. So what we need to do is first add our property list or .plist into our app. So if we go to file and new or right click on the project and go to new file and then in your resources here on your iOS click make sure you click property list and just simply press next and now simply name the uh, property list something very simple such as list and then simply create that into your project now I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom here underneath our view controller you can drag it wherever you want just drag it there so you can simply see it nice and clear and then what we need to do now is just make the project bigger click on our root, uh, click on the plus symbol uh, and then we need to now give a name of our kind of um, list as we're creating an array of words so simply name this list so following the name of um, the actual list itself so it's list and then the array which we need to select here we need to select to array uh, of lists this means we can have our drop down menu now and now if we press the little plus symbol on the list itself we now can add um, load of individual strings. So if I put in one and then press enter and then enter again, two, three, four, and then finally five. What this is now, we have five words all together. We got five items starting from zero and at four. They are all each individual strings within our array and each word that when we press it will kind of display one of these words randomly so we'll either say one two three four or five so that's simply how we add our property list into our app and just configure it in an array to add our strings for our random kind of generator so now once we've done that we can simply save it and then we can head over to our main dot storyboard where we will configure the interface so all we're simply going to need is a well a rect button here place that in uh, get our label and I'll just place that underneath and I'll make it a little bit pretty and just center it there uh, we can even click on our view controller and add um, our actions and outlets uh, via the um, editor assistant here assistant editor sorry uh, make sure you select uh, viewcontroller.h or alternatively you could simply go into the viewcontroller.h and add them in manually uh, but I want to make this quite quick and uh, make it easier to do to follow so make sure we're on our viewcontroller.h on the side here uh, I'm going to put in a bracket and separate them I'm going to get our button uh, and select action and I'm simply going to name the button simply random uh, I'll take off the sender as we're not going to need that at all. Uh, create that and then we create our outlet for our label which I'll simply name label. Now the benefits of doing it this way in the assistant editor, let me just close that up, is now when we head over to our viewcontroller.m our action button's already placed in so it saved us a little bit of time but not too much in general. Okay then, so now then uh, we need to do the coding now in our .m to, for us to be able to kind of display the words from the plist. So first we need to kind of locate our plist file and to do that we do ns string space asterisk and I'll simply name it file content space equals space bracket bracket ns bundle space main bundle and then bracket and after in between the second bracket there we need to do path for resource and in the ns string here we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and this will be the name of our property list which we named it list so make sure you spell it correctly and if you ever got any um, capital letters or numbers or anything like that make sure you include them and then um, ty um, of type in the ns string and the of type is the file format which is plist so it's capital P um, oh sorry no not capital P sorry so it's um, low, all lowercase P list and that with the bracket and obviously the semicolon 
Now I'm going to do an, add, add the um, extra line underneath so you can kind of clearly see it being typed out. And now we need to kind of allocate our contents within the file uh, just to create our dictionary and our for our multiple uh, array and stuff like that. So we need to do ns dictionary space asterisk and I'll simply name this word uh, DIC, word dictionary, nice and short. Space equals space again bracket bracket ns dictionary uh, space alloc or allocate uh, bracket space. Now we need to do init with contents of file. So init with contents of file. There we go. And in the highlighted section here, we need to do files content. So we link it up to our uh, list of our in a string here of our main board of our list that's p list okay so at the end of it, we do bracket and a semicolon and then I'll press enter a few more times so you can see now we need to do ns uh, multiple array space items oh sorry space asterisk items sorry I'm getting ahead of myself there I'm just simply name it items space equals space um, bracket and now we need to include our word um, kind of dictionary our word uh, ns dictionary sorry so we do word dic that we added in above space uh, value for key and what this is going to equal now is the section in our p list which is our array which is, we've called it lists just here underneath the root so head back in there uh, so in the ns string here we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark in between the two quotation marks we give it our name which we called it lists and making sure we add the capital on the l uh, at the end of that we do a bracket in a semicolon so we've uh, allocated uh, where we are taking the words from within the p list so now we need to create the kind of random generator function to display words random um, randomly when we press the button and to do that we need to create an int space Rand, uh, we call it random number space equals space uh, the kind of random function kind of uh, uh, the arc for random uh, space this is kind of what we do in our other random tu um, generated tutorials uh, where we do random images, random words, random text color, random sound files so it's the kind of the same uh, just kind of um, formatted a little bit differently now we need to do percentage sign and space bracket and we need to link this to our items which is uh, our property uh, NS um, multiple array here so items uh, space count and then a bracket in a semicolon press enter a few more times there and now we need to create an ns string space asterisk so let's name this word uh, space equals space bracket again our items we need to include and the um, object at index so object at index in the ns uh, integra here we need to include our random number so our little generator just here on this line and I have a bracket and a semicolon and then finally to get the word to be displayed in the label we need to do a bracket label space set text and in the uh, ns string here we need to do bracket bracket and we need to locate our ns string so we need to do ns string space locate after the first bracket here we need to do in it with format so in it with format can I just see that now so the ns string one here I will just take that now so in it with format um, we need to do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark uh, our, and then we, in the middle we need to do, between the quotation marks we need to do at sim, um, percentage sign at symbol sorry and after that we need to do a comma and then add in word so, and there are two brackets there and a semicolon. So what that's doing is getting the label. It's going to set the text of the label to our string, which is our word here. We've got it here. So that's the little symbol there to add in uh, the ns string, uh, the percentage sign, and the at symbol. Uh, it's going to link to our word. We've got it at the end here. Word is then linked to our items and our random number, which is here, which is going to create the random pick one at random, basically, from our items, which our items is linked to our lists within our um, p list here of our array and our array equals the one two three and all the different strings 
uh, and then uh, the items there. So then the word dictionary for the value of our file contents equals the list.plist, making it locate this plist file than any other one. So we've kind of named it there. So then all we really need to do is select the iPhone simulator, go into build and run as we've already linked up our connections and created um, the objects in the interface. So now we just need to wait for the simulator to load up and then we can test it out. Okay then, so now once the simulator is loaded up, I'll just click back onto our plist so we can see what kind of uh, options or kind of stuff it's going to print out. So it's going to either give us one, two, three, four, five. So we display these at random. So when I press the button, so the first one has been displayed, I press it again, two, two again, two, one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three, five. So it's that completely random, uh, it's picking one yeah, random, so each of these we can add more to it. So if I uh, added, I keep going there. Just to show you that you can add more and it won't affect the code or anything like that. There is no limit in the code to how many it displays like it does in our random or in our other random generator tutorials. So all we've done is added extra stuff within our plist. So if I build and run that, and then once I press the button, uh, 2, 5, 2, 1, 9, so it's gone above the 5 already, 1, 7, 6, 7, 8. So that's simply how you create a random word generator using plists. So I hope if this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook and like us on Twitter, or the other way around, I think I got that wrong then. Uh, just to keep up to date with what's going on and you get some added benefits with following us on social networks as a kind of little promo codes of giveaway and stuff that you won't normally get with watching the videos on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got a little more pinky. I got a little more... No, it's not my pinky. I got a little more finger.